So in this video, what we're going to do is learn how we can use the eraser tool in Adobe Illustrator. Cool, so welcome back to my design class and another Illustrator tutorial. Like I said, what we're going to do is cover the eraser tool. So to find the eraser tool, what we have to do is go to the left hand toolbar and it's just underneath the brush tool. And as you can see, it's here and the infographic shows that the shortcut to the eraser tool is shift and E. As you can see, what we get is a new cursor with a brush. So anytime I'm on the eraser tool, I can basically change our brush in order to actually manipulate our shape. So unlike in Photoshop, where we're obviously used to the eraser tool erasing pixels in a canvas, in Adobe Illustrator, everything is of course working with vectors. So the eraser tool is actually going to manipulate the paths of your vector shapes and add anchors and paths in order to create the new shape that you want. So for example, as you can see, if I quickly draw using the eraser tool, just by holding my left mouse button and actually dragging my cursor, as you can see, I can start a cutaway part of our shape and I can continue and create whatever shape I want, maybe something like that. And then when I release, as you can see, what it's going to do is it's going to create a whole load of new anchor points around our shapes and create a whole load of paths in order to create the path that we just drew using the eraser tool. Now, another thing to notice is because we actually intersected the shape using the eraser tool, as you can see, it's now created two different shapes. So for example, if I quickly bring up the direct selection tool using the shortcut A on my keyboard, I can select this part of the shape, hold shift in order to select the rest. And as you can see, this is a completely new shape, which isn't connected to our previous shape. I'll just quickly undo that by using command and Z. One of the things you'd obviously want to be able to do is change the size of the eraser tool. So if we quickly go back to the eraser tool using the shortcut we just learned, which was shift and E, as you can see, that's now brought it up. Now, in order to actually change the size of our brush, we can use two shortcuts on our keyboard. So in order to decrease the size of our brush, what we can do is hold the left square bracket button. So as you can see, every time I press that, the brush is going to decrease in size. And if I now remove part of my shape, as you can see, the paths are much smaller. If I quickly undo that, in order to increase the size of a brush, it's obviously going to be the opposite. So that's going to be the right square bracket. And as you can see, when I'm holding that down, we can increase the size of our brush quite dramatically till perhaps we create this kind of moon shape. Cool, if I quickly undo that too. Another cool thing you can do with the eraser tool is if you hold down Option or Alt on your keyboard if you're on Windows, you can actually hold and drag out a rectangular shape, which when you release over the shape itself is also going to cut that away from your shape. So that's just another cool thing you can do when you're on the eraser tool. If you're interested in learning how you can actually create simple shapes in Adobe Illustrator, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. And otherwise, do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and also do remember to subscribe to make sure you never miss a new Illustrator tutorial.